不是因为我写的很精彩，而是中国故事就很精彩。一四年到的中国，我一下飞机就觉得终于回家的感觉。我的目标是让更多的西方人去了解中国一下，因为我喜欢中国的文化，所以这是我的一个梦想来这里。When I first came here, I felt like I'd been here before. Chang Bei is a Shizian. He's a Chinese characteristic. This love of books. Andi, Baohu, Zo, Yi. China is so open and diverse. It's a part, a country part, a Taiwan type of place. 今日您叫我来有什么艰巨的任务啊？今天啊是想请您把京剧传授给一外国小伙。哟，那咱们请。So this is our teacher today. Oh, okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. 高兴认识你啊。武生的眉毛眼睛跟其他的角色不同，要表现的更加有英气。披星戴月，不自老。Wow, it's been a really fantastic experience today. I really love these clothes, and I've got a newfound appreciation for the Beijing Opera, the art of Beijing Opera. It's so many. Kind of artistic areas put together, like the clothes, like the design of these clothes is amazing. And I learned that some of them are passed down from teacher to student over decades, some even over a hundred years old. And also the makeup, the makeup artists are amazing as well. Every single movement has its own meaning and expression, just like dancing. And then every word has got to be said in a certain way to convey the meaning. 不能念歌了，在戏曲舞台上念乌、oh. facial expressions as well. It's like singing, dancing, acting, everything all in in one packet. 厦门岛，安地保护，走一走。这次教学体验呢，本以为是一场非常艰巨的任务，没想到咱们这个外国小伙肖恩特别有灵气用我们行话叫。开窍，有一句话说得好啊，叫“艺术不分国界”，在肖恩身上全体现了。Yeah, I think the center part of Beijing is very cultural. I think the outside is a little more. And Beijing's feeling is very iconic. It's very like almost like royal. It's like London when you go to Buckingham Palace, that kind of feeling, feeling lots of reds and golds and things like that. The emperor's colors, right? I think I just want to connect. You know, as a, as a person, I just want to connect with as much. Of the world as possible, and the reason why I make music is to connect with people. I don't. We are Lamfei. You know, this place really reminds me of the sound of music. 